Okay, here's the Greenworks Pro. Um, I, I wouldn't really call it a pro saw, like a like a s nice steel, like a commercial steel saw or Echo. Uh, but it's uh, it's a pretty good saw. It's probably I, I put it better than the than the gas saws you'll get it uh, for for 150 bucks at Home Depot. But here's here's some of the big differences. Um, one is you've got these actual uh, 716s on, uh, I think it's quarter inch bolts. Um, okay, uh, 716 inch bolts or whatever millimeter 306 is. Yeah, 516 is what I meant. 516 inch bolts. Not 15, 16 um, The motor, it's uh, the, the laminated plates. And it's not real different. It just doesn't have a plastic on the exterior. They're both laminated steel plates on the inside. It's um, it's called Globe 7032, meaning it's 70 millimeters on the outside of the stator by. 30 millimeters long that gives you an idea of, of how it compares to other that's that's how they call motors you've got what is what does that say 32 millimeters Meh. by well I'll measure from the flats by can you see that It says 6992. That's that's the motor. You can see the I think the wires look a little thicker than what's on the DeWalt. Now uh, this motor probably eh, if if I've got the same size hands as other reviewers, the motor's it's probably about the same size. It's hard to judge. I definitely think the wires are thicker. One of the big things is from the motor to the end. of the saw, you've got metal the whole way. It's not gonna wiggle around on you as much as some of the ones that are have a lot of plastic in between uh, it's not you know it's it's a uh, it's probably magnesium or something whatever the uh, bucking bar it's dull but you could easily sharpen them if you wanted to not that I would care about that on a 16 inch tr tree this is the pump for the oil it's got a, uh, I don't know what you call this, I, I guess a, a worm drive, but the, I don't know if it's called a worm drive or not, but you get the idea. This spins like this, this pumps on the uh, chain tensioner. It's kind of the same thing, except there's not as much plastic involved. You've got the, the uh, you've got a bevel gear, two bevel gears, I guess, running up against each other. I don't know, I kind of... Eh, you're not putting a tremendous amount of force on it. I, I wouldn't worry about this going bad for at least a thousand tensionings. Um, as long as you're not trying to force stuff. Something I, I didn't like about the gearbox. Uh, it's not going to be that uh, really nice molybdenum disulfide grease. Or at least it certainly didn't look like it to me. It was a clear... Um, I wiped it away because I am going to put the good stuff. Uh, so you're not seeing the, you're just seeing the the metal from the, because I've I've run this a bit, and you're just seeing the uh, the metal from the gears. Now it doesn't have the MOSFETs on the motor. That that's another big difference in this one. You've got your three phases going to the motor or or the the uh, brushless DC BLDC whatever that stands for. Um, I don't know if it's brushless DC or 
Um, this is the Hall Effect sensor. I guess you've got three, uh, you've got six, one for each, um, one for each, uh, whatever you call those, are. winding. Or there's, there's three, three sets of windings. Anyway, the, uh, it's considerably larger, the electronic speed controller, and it's got the heat sink on that, and it's positioned so that the fan from the uh, from the case, from the fan from the motor, is actually pulling air by the uh, the fins of the heat sink, which are I don't know, it's a lot bigger than what they've got on the Dewalt saw, the 60 volt. It's an Oregon. Saw blade. Came with a skip chain. I put on a regular chain just because I like to go through the wood a little bit faster. The skip chain's probably a little bit more efficient. The battery is made up of, uh, I'll take that apart later. It's uh, this particular one, 60 volt. It's 15 cells in parallel by by two in series I'm sorry it's 15 in series two parallel total of 30 cells uh, gives you your 60 volts 5 amp 300 watt hour pack now the the kit I think the kits 250 and it comes with a battery and a charger I bought this separately um, got a really great deal it was in the in the uh, in the, on the clearance rack, 20 bucks for the $180 battery. Uh, that's, uh, I think those are the major big differences. Two regular bolts to hold it down. Nice big speed controller, all potted, heat sink, big capacitors, 470 microfarad, 100 volt capacitors. And it looks like it's got some sort of a, a relay that says 20 volt, 40 amps. And uh, that's that's about it. And then it's metal from the from the motor out to the tip of the uh, tip of the saw. Um, it's also NSK bearings. I don't know what the other one was, but can you see the NSK? And there's a little bigger one on the other side. And also, it's about the same 12 millimeter whatever it is for the for the spur and. Uh, Pinion gear. That's about it.